This is an installation video for the Dorner 2200 Universal Drive Package. Included in the, the kit is a partially assembled gear motor and mount package, the mount adapter plate, the upper guard assembly, a 22 tooth pulley, a plastic plug, and a variety of screws needed to mount the package. To install this, you will need a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, a 4 millimeter Allen wrench, and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. The first step is to install the motor mounting adapter plate. To do that, we need to remove two screws from the head plate and then install the adapter plate using the two flat head screws provided. This adapter plate is designed to mount both on the A side and the D side of the conveyor with the same part number. Next, we want to position the pulley inside the mount package. The timing belt simply slides off to the side and the pulley slides in. Note that the flat face of the pulley needs to be facing away from the conveyor frame. Here we are mounting the motor in an inboard configuration on the A side. Then you slide on the mount package and the pulley onto the conveyor shaft. Next, we install the positioning screw in the round hole on the back plate of the mounting package. The positioning screw location is determined by mount package orientation, seen on page 11 of the technical publication. We do not want to tighten this up all the way just yet. Next, we install the other short screw in the upper hole location on the rear plate. Again, making sure not to tighten this all the way just yet. Finally, we install the long screw through the front plate and through the rear plate into the mounting adapter, not tightening it all the way. With it tension loose, Push the pulley back against the back plate and then lower the motor or rotate the motor to its initial tension set. Then use a two and a half millimeter wrench to tighten the set screws on the pulley. While motor is rotated to maintain tension on the timing belt, tighten the two screws on the rear plate. Next, install the upper guard assembly, being sure it snaps in place to the lower guard assembly, and tighten the front screw. Finally, install the plastic plug into the front of the mount package.